And a 7 News alert this morning. Concerns over new, more contagious COVID-19 strains are growing. The CDC is reporting 100 confirmed cases across the country. 7 News' Jennifer Martin is in Greenville with how state officials are tracking the mutations. Now, Georgia health officials have reported five cases of a virus variant, but here in the Carolinas, health officials say they have not found any evidence of a mutation quite yet. But the Post and Courier reports that South Carolina DHEC scientists are working regularly weekly to look for those mutations. So far, they are testing 24 samples each week and sending another 10 samples to the CDC every other week. Now, researchers with the Rockefeller University in New York say that the current vaccines seem to offer protection against new variants and that the mutations do not appear to cause more serious disease. However, Dr. Anthony Fauci says that these new strains, one from the UK, the other from South Africa, pass between people much easier and more contagious, and that could increase the number of cases, meaning more hospitalizations and more deaths. So even though the virus on a one-to-one -one basis isn't more serious, the phenomenon of a more transmissible virus is something that you take seriously. A Mayo Clinic vaccine expert says that vaccines will not fix this problem, that we all need to stay vigilant about wearing masks and social distancing. In Greenville, Jennifer Martin, 7 News. And we continue to follow the number of COVID-19 cases in our state. As of this morning, DHEC reported more than 3,300 new cases and additional 39 deaths. Greenville County has the highest number of new cases in the state with over 550. Spartanburg County has just over 300 and Anderson County has nearly 150. Over 13,000 test results were reported. 24.5% were positive. Governor Henry McMaster wants South Carolina hospitals to get more people vaccinated. While in Greenville yesterday, he said the federal government has set aside over 800,000 doses to the state on a rolling basis. McMaster expects for that number to increase after a few months, but he believes more has to be done to get people vaccinated. He says this will help the number of hospital beds available statewide. The hospital capacity is very important. We've been watching that from the very beginning, get a report every day on the number of patients, the number of beds, the number of ICU beds, the number of COVID patients, the number of patient COVID patients on ventilators. And more information to help you out, we have how to register to get the vaccine and also who qualifies to get it. Just head to WSPA.com.